Hello everyone. How are you? Hope everyone is doing great. And so let's start for our today's topic. And today's topic is running a script uh, for intermittent issues. So this is basically you might have various issues which you occur uh, at any particular time in a day or maybe it's in the morning, evening or any time of the day. <clears throat> But it's very difficult to catch those issues because uh, uh, such kind of issues occur uh, for a few seconds and then run away by the time we are aware or uh, from the troubleshooting if we come to know that there was an issue. But now we can't uh, catch uh, the issue or we can't see the data which is required for further analysis. So in such cases, what we need to do is we need to run uh, some scripts or some commands to continuously keep on running on the device so that uh, we can capture certain data at the point of issue or uh, we can correlate that data when the issue happened. So in, for such cases, we need the uh, uh, scripts or commands to be running continuously. Let's go. Okay. So before, uh, as I told, like you need to run scripts. So we need to understand some intermittent issues, like what are uh, some of the examples of intermittent issues. So intermittent issues can be like high CPU. So high CPU you see, like high CPU is in uh, uh, at particular moment for let's say for two, three minutes, it can be during your peak hours or can be whenever there are high number of sessions. <coughs> but you don't understand or you don't see that data uh, in the day or in the normal time of operation. So this is one of the examples of intermittent issue. Uh, other can be network drops on the interface. Let's say uh, you, you are getting packet drops and an application is getting timed out or uh, um, you observe ICMP drops, but by the time you see those issues are gone, uh, then so network drops could be the other uh, example of intermittent issues. Then we have high memory, <coughs> high memory issues so these are some of the examples where you can use a, a script uh, to run and to capture the data. This was just uh, the, an example of few intermittent issues, um, but you can use the script or these commands for any issues where you are unable to catch the data during runtime or during the live troubleshooting. So there can be several other examples of intermittent issues. <coughs> So w w what is the requirement or what is required uh, to run these scripts? Generally on the 40 gate, you can't run the uh, commands continuously by going to the putty because that requires a manual effort, pasting the commands or running the commands. But uh, we are not sure like what point of the, you know, what point of the day you will uh, face the issue or at which particular timestamps you are going to see the issue. So what we need is requirements is simple. I can uh, make a one more PPT for this, let's say, uh, requirement. So requirement for running a script. What we need is uh, laptop slash machine, laptop slash machine. Then we need uh, Terratum as a software tool. That's it. We don't need anything. This is one method first method <clears throat> we have two methods basically to do this first method is laptop uh, slash machine with windows installed or means basically windows machine we can say uh, windows laptop and the second is can be a uh, second method can be a linux machine so linux machine is more uh, uh, easier, but uh, no need of Terratum. No need of Terratum. Uh, inbuilt scripting, in inbuilt uh, base can be used. Okay, so we will be talking about the first method. Let's go. So what we need, we need a Terratum. Uh, install the Terratum on your machine, and uh, you need to have the a script or the command to be created in a file extension named .ttl file. Don't worry, I am going to show you all these uh, 
live as well so for now i am just explaining so we need a teratum installed pc we need a script file that will contain all the commands that needs to be run during the troubleshooting and these commands can vary based on what you are troubleshooting or what commands you want to run and teratum can be downloaded from below link or you can simply google it so once the teratum is installed uh, then we need to create a script file or ttl file so basically the uh, teratum macro file is known as or is by the extension dot ttl file so what we need to do we need to create a script in the dot ttl or macro so there we need to mention our commands what command do you want to run so let's say this is the script uh, i have created the here two variables wait time and wait after command we are going to use them i will explain you how let's say now you want to run a command called config global execute time you want to know the time of the issue and you want to know the date of the issue uh, like whenever this data is getting collected it's not like uh, time of the issue but it's when this data is getting collected so that you can correlate this time with uh, the issue time and you can figure out figure out what might have happened during that time so basically send ln command is used to send uh, send the command that you want to execute and pause is a time break or a short break that you want to wait for after running the command so we generally use this because while executing this command it may take some time to run and uh, save all the outputs so what we do after running each command we just wait for few seconds so let's say pause wait after command so wait after command is this which is a uh, one so basically what we do we run one command and then we wait for one second and then we again run the second command and we wait for a uh, one second so similarly like this you can type all your commands that you want to run and finally you can end the loop so here send ln send ln is used to send the commands to run and pause is the time wait after running one command so these are the two variables this you can uh, modify these two variables based on requirement whether you want to run this script every 30 second or or every 1 minute based on your you can just input this command so we have mentioned here seconds before restarting command list so this wait time is basically uh, once all these commands are executed you have to wait for this much time and then again start this while loop so it keeps on running so this is a sample dot uh, ttl script file that we need to run from the teratum now what we need to do we need to install the teratum uh, go open your teratum and go to uh, create a new connection establish a connection with your uh, firewall or the device you have and you log in so once you log in you will see the teratum screen like this where the device is Uh, logged in i am just uh, showing it as long well. of course we are going to do in this uh, do in the lab okay and then you, you you need to log this teratum session because whatever whenever these commands are getting run all the outputs will be stored in this log file which you can use it later for further analysis of the data then uh, once you log the file you need to tell the location like which location you need to save the file to and this is now the main step for running the macro so once you go uh, you are uh, you uh, means once you logged into the putty uh, not putty sorry excuse me it's teratum once you are logged into the teratum you have enabled the logging of the teratum session then it's time to run our script file so what we should do we will go into the control macro and select the macro so when you select macro that's basically you need to select the uh, teratum or the ttl file or the script file which you have collected so let's go in action and try to see that in the lab let me open teratum okay i have opened the teratum and i am logging into my device this will be the port for ssh excuse me because i have it on different port for me oops that's not logging in i think i am not connected to my network give me a second please 
Yeah, I am connected to my network. Sorry for that. Let's open Terratrum and I'll go. To my port was sorry one zero one zero one, and it's it will going to ask you the username, username and the password, and you have to say okay. So once you are lo logged in, this is the screen you are going to get. So now I have to log the file. Say you have to go file, click on log, and uh, and select uh, log the, the log file location. Let's say I will name the test file log, and I will click save. So now my logging of this screen is or this session is enabled. So once the logging is enabled, I need to go to control and select macro. Once you say macro, it's going to. Uh, you need to select the uh, your script. So let's say this is my training script. I will select this training script. So now you can see all these commands automatically started to running. So uh, let me make the screen bigger. So let's say I the script was running the axis top, and see it's continuously running, and we can see so now when the action is end the script is ended and now based on the wait time wait time was 30 seconds so it will wait for 30 seconds to again run these commands so let's observe whether our break is working yep i am still waiting So as soon as the 30 seconds is done, it again started running all these commands. So whatever commands I had, it's running. So th th this is the way how you can uh, keep on running some commands on FortiGate for uh, troubleshooting of uh, intermittent issues. But make sure that you don't close this Terratum window. So this Terratum window, if you close the Terratum window, then your script is stopped and the uh, commands are not going to run. So th 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 that's the limitation in Windows if you are doing it on a Windows because you should keep a spare laptop or some machine where the Terratrum can keep on running. Uh, someone should not interrupt it or someone should not close the Terratrum uh, by mistake in between. Whereas if you have a uh, laptop or a machine or a server with Linux installed, then Linux can use the base scripting and that will keep on running uh, similar script in the background. So that can be done on a Linux as well. If you, if you want to know how to uh, run this script on a Linux, I, uh, I can let you know that as well. If you want to see uh, how to run, uh, e even on the Linux it's possible to roll over the files or to have different files. So that, that's all possible on the Linux machine and Linux keeps on running in the background so that that, that helps us uh, uh, so that no one can interrupt this process in between so this is how you can run uh, the script so hope it was clear to everyone and th th this kind of analysis or this kind of data collection 100% uh, it helps us to fix or to understand the intermittent issues so these commands can be based on your issue or the problem which you are facing uh, you can modify the script file or if you need any help in modifying or creating the script file or you uh, you want to know how to create that. I have already shown you the sample, but if you need my assistance, I am happy to assist you. You can just comment on the video and I will be, uh, I will be happy to assist you on this part. So hope it was clear. Let me know for any doubts uh, on running a script using a Windows uh, laptop and a Terratum. See, so every time the machine is uh, or the Terratum is